Hey guys, we have eight red flags to watch out for in your relationship. Yes, we got eight red flags, guys. So we're going to go through four of them. Um, I'm going to pick two. Josh is going to pick two. And we're going to let you know some red flags to look out for. If they are waving and flapping in the wind, definitely, um, you know, address them. Yeah. Absolutely. Go ahead. You go first. I'm going to kick them off. Yeah. I'm going to pick this one to get started off only because this shouldn't even be a red flag in your relationship. This should just be a red flag in dating. Like yeah. if you see this on a date, like just know that it can't go like, it can't go well from this. Uh-huh. Um they're disrespe- disrespectful to people serving them. Oh yeah. One of the clear- clearest tells about a person's true moral character is how they treat people they deem less powerful. Yeah, that's a big That's big to me. Big deal Do you say thank you. You have to say thank you when you go out, you have to tip, like you have to do all that stuff. Right. If you're out with somebody and they see somebody at a drive through or at a fast food restaurant or a fancy restaurant and they're rude, no eye contact, no right. greeting, no nothing, fuck them. Like you got to, right. you can't stay, yeah. you can't stay around them. Mainly because it like, it also reflects on you after, right? So like now that, now I made her my girl. Yep. Now my girl doesn't say thank you and my girl is rude at the restaurant. So now I look crazy. Yeah, absolutely. So don't do it. Yeah, and then you end up having to apologize for this person when they right. go to the bathroom, you and you got to be like, "Listen, I'm sorry. I My know bad. she just doesn't. I'm sorry. She's, she's from, never been trained. She's from the Bronx. <laughs> Hi, apologize. <laughs> it won't happen again. Trust sorry. me. We never come out. Indeed. Yeah, we never come out. Blame after, it on um, After 5 p.m. Right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so another one is. Mm. Ah, they don't support your ambitions. Mm. Relationships between two people are also to some degree relationships between the versions of those people who met in a specific moment. While it's natural to change over time, as we learn life lessons and gain experience, how your partner reacts to those changes can be a sign of what they're really like. I think it's really important, like ambitions change, goals change, and not necessarily the person that you meet, what they're doing at that time, it might change. Right. It might not, but you still have to leave room for them to want to do more or want right. to earn more or experience more. For sure. So that's really important. Got to have somebody who supports you, man. And then you, in return, support them. It has yes. to, it's just a give and give. I'm literally living in that dynamic right now, and it's so amazing, right? Like mm-hmm. it's so beneficial to just how we each feel about each other and how we each feel individually. It's dope when you have somebody who supports your dreams. Absolutely. Because you feel so empowered. Yeah. To go out there and do it. So find somebody who supports your dreams, who's, who, who has room, like Big you facts. said. And also won't stop at just, oh, you had one dream and that's it. They, and now they can't see you going past that. Like, yeah. no, I want other things in life. So dope. Super dope. I like that one. Indeed. Um, next one for me is they can't take responsibility for their actions. Well, that's a big one. Uh, yeah, that's, that, that's, that's a huge thing. Nobody can just not take responsibility for what they do or what they say and just like stand on a hill of wrong for so long. It's, it's a thing that even we have to look inward, right? Like I always want to like make it equal, right? So even us, we have to look inward on just how our actions affect people. Yeah, absolutely. How our tones, how our words, how our maneuvers affect people, our timing all affects people. It's just baffling to me how people don't understand how their interactions can now affect me. And I think, you know, like, it's good to know, it's good to be with somebody who is aware of their, how their actions affect you. Yeah. And they can take accountability for that and be like, you know what, I could see how that got you upset, Trev. Ooh, we're back to accountability. Oh, man, sip some water. Good Throwback. <laughs> anyway, last one. <laughs> uh, they won't disagree with you. Mm. As nice as it might sound to not fight, you might want to be wary of a partner who cannot or will not disagree with you. If things are going to work out between you long term, you'll need to develop the capacity to argue with each other in a healthy way. And that starts with getting into and resolving small disagreements early on. You can't just be a yes person. You can't just be like, yes, yes, sir, no, sir, yes, ma'am, no, sir. Like, it has to be a, everybody still has to remain themselves and, like, have their viewpoints. And, you know, not everybody agrees on everything. We shouldn't agree on everything. Not at all. And if if y'all agree on everything, that's dope. I think that's amazing. I'd love to know how that works. But for me personally, like, I would like to get some pushback. I'd like to get some pull. I feel like in uncomfortable conversations comes growth. In uncomfortable conversations comes learning. Yes. Right? So, like, you don't have to agree with me everything. Like, if you tell me no, like, tell me why you told me no. And now I can see it from a different perspective. 
I think it's hard because most people don't know how to respectfully express that they disagree with something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's something I'm, I'm working through, how to respectfully accept whatever your disagreement is. Yeah. Right? Like, and not take it offensive. It's just your opinion and your disagreement, and I just have to respectfully accept that. And then, you know, not respond with, you know, respond personally or, yeah. or things like that. It's hard. I mean, it's hard for everybody. I don't think there's anybody that really has it down to an exact science. Yeah. But I think going into relationships, friendships, relationships with your family, understanding that disagreements are a part of it. Everybody grows up different. Everybody grows up to like different things and have different viewpoints. And if there's somebody you care about, then you care about their viewpoints and their and your differences and you work hard to find, you know, some type of common ground or agree to disagree. Agree to disagree respectfully. Yes, indeed. Respectfully is the big biggest part because there's not listen, like you you get in a relationship, everything's like peachy for months and months and months and months. When that disagreement pops up, like you have to be prepared to to talk about it and, yeah. you know, attack it head on so that it doesn't yeah. like linger or, you know, ultimately lead to your demise. Yeah.